Hi, welcome back to The Big Six. Uh, it's February, so it's been a while uh, since the last video um, that I put up uh, just after Christmas. Um, we've had a nice steady start to the new year, despite um, some pretty terrible weather. I'm back in the pub um, with a few jobs to do. One of our glamorous jobs is restocking the ice. We don't have an ice machine, as I've said before, so it is quite regular trips to the supermarket uh, to get some ice. Uh, also had a bit of damage last night. Um, nothing sinister, um, but time has finally told on this table. Uh, I'm no carpenter, but um, I think that's probably repairable with a bit of uh, bit of time and effort. So uh, another job to do. On the bar today, opening up at four o'clock on this uh, Thursday, uh, the end of February, we've got the uh, ever-present Old Mill traditional bitter as well as uh, a rare um, session strength beer from Slopian. Slopian beer is very popular here, uh, 3.7 Harbinger, uh, as well as uh, Brass Catty, uh, Brass Catty, Brass Kitty, Baz Kitty from Brass Castle, um, very popular um, dark beer that we uh, tried for the first time just before Christmas. And then we've actually got two beers from Roosters on at the moment, uh, the Yankee, and then their American Pale Ale, their 5.4% American Pale Ale. Um, ideally, uh, I'd like four different beers on each of the four pumps, but sometimes that just doesn't always work out however well you, uh, however well you try and plan it. Um, some beers might sell quicker or slower than, than others. Um, but four excellent beers uh, as we approach the weekend. Uh, while I'm here, better just have a quick check as to what is going on down in the cellar. Ooh. So we've got a nice pile of empties awaiting collection there. Uh, we do have some deliveries today or tomorrow from uh, Kirksville Brewery in Leeds, as well as Hawkshead uh, from the Lake District. Uh, we still have a bit of a problem with empty casks. Um, I do contact breweries asking them, reminding them that they've got some empties. Uh, some of them are very, very keen to come and collect. Some do take a bit of um, persuasion. So we've got a bit of a gap here. Uh, but this will be filled with some of the deliveries that we're uh, expecting uh, today. Is it today or tomorrow that Kirk still are coming? Shown the cellar before on, I think, all the videos. We can see here that the uh, Yankee, that's close to running off, that's, that's tilted quite heavily. Uh, and also this dark beer. Uh, the brass cat, brass bleh, bad kitty from Brass Castle, that's also due to go off. But we're nice and organised. The next beers are tapped, vented, not this one just yet, but ready to go. And then down this end of the cellar, we've got plenty of strong beers lined up. The row of old mill on the top. That end one could do with uh, tapping. And down here, session beer is going into the weekend. We've got two barrels of the, the Harbinger there, uh, all set, ready to go. Not as huge amount of stock in the session beers as we've had in the past, but I do have uh, the Hawkshead Itty coming uh, today. Um, uh, this will definitely get, get us through the weekend and then we will reassess the stock on Monday morning. Something I have been doing since November is increasing the range of beers, the range of breweries uh, that we offer, just as the compressor kicks in. 
as I was saying, since November, I've been trying to increase the range of beers and breweries that are on offer at the Big Six, uh, which seems to have gone down really well with uh, customers, uh, and we're pushing a lot on the socials, uh, and hearing that people are coming up, they're telling us that they're coming up uh, to the pub because of the, the range of beers that we've got on offer, which is obviously great news. Um, the downside is that they don't come around, the brewers are not delivering as frequently as they did, which means they're not collecting the empties as frequently as they did, which means that in this small cellar it does soon start to, uh, soon start to add up. Uh, most of them, especially local ones though, probably takes the phone call and they'll, uh, they'll pop around and collect. So not as bad as they were after Christmas and New Year, but certainly getting a bit crowded down here. Yesterday was line cleaning day, uh, the weekly job, which I have covered a couple of times now in videos, so I'm not going to go all over again. Um, but we can see looking at these um, keg floats, uh, spotlessly clean, so uh, that's a good, good to see. Um, right, we're certainly all set for Thursday tea time. Um, there's this big pile of empties here. Um, Hawk's heads empties are here, so I'll just move those a bit closer down to the hatch so that they don't get missed because I don't want these hanging around for another few weeks. So, one job I will do um, just before I leave is set the fire up. Uh, that's one less job uh, for Ellie to do when she uh, opens up at tea time. Right, that's it, we're all set up, good to go uh, for opening at four o'clock. Um, I've got some uh, chores, errands to run uh, in town, um, so we'll uh, catch you next time. back uh, again um, we've had a nice weekend uh, quite busy um, nice to see uh, the walking group from the Cross Keys another um, fabulous real ale pub um, just across the other side of town they called in uh, on Saturday lunchtime uh, so that was nice to see them and uh, yeah a nice nice sort of steady steady away Saturday um, just getting things ready now to open up um, Sunday, uh, all the jobs upstairs are done, bits of admin, cashing up, uh, so I'm just going to have a quick look in the cellar, set the bar up and then leave it, uh, leave it for Lee to open up at one o'clock. Got a nice mix of beers uh, on the bar this weekend. We've got a uh, Wappen take from a uh, nail maker, uh, new to us, uh, a brewery down in the sort of Barnsley Sheffield area. Goose High, old friends of ours, um, their Blackmoor uh, Dark Ale. Also got the Pommage Revenge from Goose High on the Strong Pump. Again, a very popular, um, very popular beer from Goose High. And heaven forbid, we have beers from London. Uh, I saw the opportunity to uh, to get something different from one of our suppliers. So we've got the uh, Five Points Ale from East London. So I don't know if that's going to cause debate and discussion about whether a London beer should be served with or without a sparkler. But of course we're in Yorkshire, so even though it's London beer, uh, we'll still be serving it with a sparkler. But of course if... Uh, if people want it without, then that is their prerogative and we will remove the sparkler. Um, so I'm not sure if that's the first time we've had uh, London beers in the big six, um, but we'll give it a go and um, see how popular it is. Just restocking the uh, postcards, which are available 
uh, in the pub for customers to to take and uh, send to their friends is the uh, big six merch store uh, i've uh, revamped that uh, using a new provider uh, moved to uh, shopify so there is a mix of um, printed and embroidered t-shirts hoodies that kind of thing available through the shopify store at big6merch.com uh, last job before i disappear we'll have a quick look down cellar all tapped vented ready to go looking a bit tidier down here now we've got rid of some of the uh, empties all good to go there uh, and there's an old mill there's a space on the old mill rack there uh, so that just needs racking get that settled so the cellar's looking good I think we're all set for another Sunday afternoon at the big six so the cellar's looking good um, all under control uh, plenty of ale in so I think we're all good to go for a nice hopefully blue skies out there for a nice uh, Sunday afternoon at the Big Six.